Welcome back. I am some guy you've never heard of. This is The Sims Medieval, The Kingdom of Sig and Hope. When last we, when last we left out, our physician Izumi and our merchant Byron were trying to get, the get to the bottom of this pandemic. Hopefully they'll be able to finish it this time. And if I recall, oh no, Izumi is doing so right now. She's made another strong curative tonic. So now she needs to make two strong health solves. But she can't because she doesn't have any more angel weed yet. Because she hasn't found any, which is really frustrating. Oh, she needs to collect her that okay, that's literally one of her duties for today. So yeah, pay your taxes. And then Now there was an angel weed. Back this way, if I recall. I think it's near this eagle wood. So I'll just send you to collect that after you pay your taxes. And then, Byron! What are your duties for today? Learn hot items and buy items. And acquire gems via trading and deliver to jeweler. Okay. So, yeah. Go investigate today's market. Oh, and he's unfocused from a bland meal and his gambling itch. Great. And it doesn't really matter that much. They're, they're not losing progress that quick, and they're still well above platinum. Alright, Izumi, hurry this along. All right, now, where was that angel weed? It was near here, wasn't it? It was back here somewhere. Those are the wildflowers. It wasn't over here, was it? No. Um, Byron, I told you to investigate today's... Well, I guess you didn't find anything at today's market. Okay, where is the angel weed that I discovered? Where did she discover that angel weed? Right, I can't remember where it was. Well, I guess she's just gonna have to discover a few others then. Alright, he needs herbs to trade in Tradoni. Oh, I think they buy seeds as well. Elegant. Holy me, Ethan. Duvain, Velga. 
Alright, she's still on her way to discover some more plants. And then Byron, where are you at? You're still returning. And you've returned. And you've cleared that responsibility. So now... Let's go to the boat. Open the cargo hold. Oh, she discovered an angel lead. Heck yeah. Collect it. Alright, she got- oh, she only got one angel lead from it. Great. More nightshade. And more nightshade. Go discover whatever that is. Wildflowers. Oh, you've collected enough things for your daily uh, duty. That's good. But you need more angel weed. Let's go see what that is. Oh, when she's lonely. That's pretty sad. That she needs more angel lead. Go discover the stuff up by the castle. Byron, are you at the ship yet? What's in the cargo hold? You going in? and hmm, sail to trade with Tridoni. Wait. I totally misread things. Great. I didn't realize there was a difference here between where it says imports and trades. That's really, really frustrating. As you can see, I'm not used to playing with a merchant at all. I'm not sure if I've ever actually played with a merchant. I mean, I know I've made them, but I don't think I've ever had them actually do any quest stuff. Great. Well, oh, lesson learned. Vaughn. Yeah, I don't think I like playing with the merchant. There's just a little too much going on. A little too much uh, having to rely on whether stuff randomly appears where you need it. Go discover whatever that is, Izumi. And yeah, like, Izumi not being able to find as much of an herb that, as she needs is frustrating, but it's not anywhere near as frustrating as the merchant stuff. While sounding the depths near a dangerous reef, a pock-faced deck cadet yelled out, Mermaid! Lo and behold, as the crew, crew gathered around the forecastle, a strange and beautiful sea creature with sparkling hair gazed directly at Byron as if mesmerized. 
You can talk to her or harpoon it. No, talk to her. Was it really a mermaid or just another one of the weird, grotesque sea creatures that the Watcher conjured to confuse and frighten sailors away from the sea? There was only one way to be sure. Before Byron could even speak, the greedy crew members flung their gnarled fishing nets at the magical creature, but it gracefully swooped out of the way. With a cheeky wave of a scaled tail, the mermaid bade shopkeeper Byron's ship farewell and plunged beneath the safety of the waves, enraging the already weary crew. Byron was furious at the men and forbade their grog rations for the rest of the trip. All right, Dina is now angry, and she found more angel weed. Go collect it. And then discover whatever this one over here is. We only got one angel lead again. Great. Alright, so go to discover that other one that I told you about. Told you to discover it. Valor. Okay. Now go home. Got yeah, power through going home. Oh, he traded a whole bunch of stuff just for money. Great. But he leveled. He made a lot of money. Um. Okay. Now, Izumi, you need to eat. And then sleep. Have some herring soup. Okay, Byron, you need to go back to the shops. It's not time to go to sleep yet. You're pretty tired, but you've still got some time. Go ahead and craft the other items you need to make. Make a... where is it? Strong health salve. Alright. Arlie. Buy all of it. You know what, get yourself some mushrooms too. Those are your mushrooms for eating. You don't have to sell those. Have some eels too. You made a tidy profit today. Treat yourself to some better, some food, so you're not just eating onion soup all the time. All right. And then go check the cargo hold again. And then Izumi. Oh, she made enough of them now. Good. So now she needs to administer cure to an ailing uh, patient. Administer cure. Should be the tonic, because it's a disease, not an injury. Not a wound. Oh. Right, so now that he has barley, he should be able to trade it for gems. Oh no, that didn't work. Now the patient has ooze dripping from the hideous eyelid. Works. Alright, put your barley in here.
Alright, and then sail to trade with Trudoni again. And then Kasumi needs to request help from shopkeeper Byron. We're just gonna have to wait until he gets back. <laughs> Well, in the meantime, you should go home and sleep. <laughs> Skip, go ahead and sleep. Yeah, Byron's not going to finish this in time. Oh well. Oh, and he's really hungry. Oh, he got some gems, so that's something. Now he needs to deliver to jeweler. Can he do it? Where's the jeweler? <laughs> Is the game going to give me a... Uh, Cooler to visit. He's going home right now. Why is he going home? Where do I find a jeweler? It's not going to have a pop up for the person I'm supposed to deliver the gems to. Great. Come on. Oh, there's a jewel there. Nope, I can't deliver gems to them. Oh my, were the gems in the cargo hold and I needed to take them out? That's probably what the issue, that's probably what happened. Well, he's not going to finish that in time, so oh well. I know he's probably having himself a bland meal. Did you finish your uh, bland meal that you're eating with your hand, even though it's like a soup? Mm. Come on. Alright, now go to bed. And she's in bed right now. Okay, stop sitting and go to bed, Byron. Have some onion soup. Kaish, I heard I'm at Yabrel Swimbrel, Kenrip Jorik, Kenslin, Prodella, Marsh. All right, now go confide your worries. You neck Yalvel. Yalvin. Mm. 
Play us some friends. Ah. Go to the market. All right, where's Byron? There he is. Um, request help in finding sick patients. Okay. My life is so busy, shopkeeper Byron. I have citizens to heal, symptoms to research. Can you track down a certain ailing peasant for me? Alright, so she now has to research symptoms, and he needs to check on the second ailing peasant. So she needs to go home. What are her... She needs to craft and deliver a weak curative tonic and medicate two people on the operating table. What does he need to do? Pay taxes and open stall for business. Okay, open for business and pay taxes. Oh. And gussy up and use your chamber. He had ridiculously easy stuff to do today. And then check on the alien peasant. Alright, Izumi, are you back? Almost. Good. And there's a party going on in the clinic. Great. Craft that weak curative tonic. I've been a bit under the weather for the last day or so, but it's nothing serious. Besides, I don't have time to get sick. Yes, that's totally how being sick, sick works. Shopkeeper Byron has drawn three buckets of water. Okay. He needs to send the second ailing peasant to the clinic. Where did she go? She's over there. Oh, he needs a higher relationship with her before he can do that. Great. I won't have time to micromanage him being social. Izumi's got stuff she needs to do. Treat him for sickness. Byron. Okay, treat that person. Make a small pet with her. Pet with her. Izumi. Um. Green Sam, use one leech. Huh? Stop putting them on their faces. Alright, use one more leech. Really? Okay, use another leech. I only have 51 leeches. Oh no. I wonder if it would kill a patient if I used, um, if I got them down to zero blood. Okay, medicate the sim now. 
So go. Uh. All right, they have been successfully cured. Now we need to do another patient. Iron, how goes the socialization over there? Okay, now you can send her to the clinic. Good. Do it then. Okay, you've convinced me, Byron. I'll go. The sooner I see Surgeon Azumi, the sooner I can get back to my chores. <laughs> Alright, treat another sim for sickness. Ah, uh, poor Belinda works. Bravens and si bluf. Weishim waklem woben. Hen vif ta bren. La bren lo rimos ti ma humer. Yena. Prouch. I met Lin Hav. Gosel is. All oh, right. <laughs> Drain Sim, use some leeches. No, use a pile of leeches. We have 16 blood points. Oh no. Alright, use one more leech. He needs to write two trade correspondences at a scribe table. Okay. Interesting. I wonder what brought that up. Alright, medicate this sim. And then when you're done with that, research symptoms. Scribe table. Okay. I think that means he needs to go to the castle. Unless I want him to buy his own, but no. I don't think that ha that's happening. You better not be making yourself bland food again. Yep, you made yourself bland food again. Why do you keep doing that? I wish I could turn off their autonomy sometimes. All right. Go to the throne room. Right trade correspondence. All right, Izumi, how goes the research? Frangish. Copel Junifres to be yawn from Pet Brilsome Yonef. Not a thing. And is this a new strain of incurable plague? As the town so claimed? No, I refuse to believe it. I need more evidence. Okay. Cool. I guess she's gotta wait for Byron's uh, correspondence to get back to him. Right now, write another trade correspondence. Send a trade correspondence to uh, what is it? Colleagues in craft holes. And she needs to examine the second ailing peasant. Ah, <laughs> Okay, send the other trade correspondence. Ah. Oh. Jesse. All right. Yes. has been diagnosed with plague. Oh my. Um, I mean, quite advanced stages of waxy, yellowing skin, fever, swollen tongue, puffy eyelid warts. I'm sure you're fine, but something or other. This peasant's a goner for sure, unless I can drain enough blood. 
I don't want Sigenho's first victim, the epidemic, to be on my hands. Alright, he needs to await responses from foreign contacts. Alright, says I need to drain her blood. Then let's drain her blood. Oh, it actually says to medicate her. So I guess it doesn't just want me to drain all of her blood. That's too bad. Oh man, she has a lot of blood. Use a pile of leeches. I've only got 46 leeches left. Make that 43 leeches. Alright, use a pile of leeches again. Oh, she's reached level 8. Nice. A uh, very high chance for more effective treatments. That's cool. Uh, let's just use a leech. Alright, let's use a leech again. Nope, not quite. One more leech again. I should get more leeches soon. That's still... I don't know, that's too much on the line. One more leech. There we go. No medicate her. The peasant has been fully, fully cured. Leeches are normally foolproof, but this time they didn't work at all. I need a large blood sample from this peasant. Okay, so draw blood sample from ailing peasant. Alright, physician. No, not romantic. Physician. Draw a blood sample. Hey, draw a blood sample. A letter bearing the seal of Tredoni fell in front of shopkeeper Byron. Greetings, shopkeeper Byron. Apologies, but I know nothing of this mysterious plague you mentioned in your inquiry. The only news I can share is that incoming trade caravans have dwindled in the past few days. Traveling merchants mention a recent lack of supplies to be found. If you have any goods to deal, I would be open to favorable negotiations. Regards, Buyer Libor of the Tredoni Trade Union. Okay, she needs to devise medical formulae at a scribe table. Okay. And she's hungry. She should eat first. Make yourself some food, Izumi. Um, turnip soup. Byron, you're still waiting for more correspondence. I can no longer wait idly by scanning the skies for a message of salvation or doom. I shall venture to the village and learn all I can from those who have fled the pestilence. Okay. Interview refugees. Not 
Democratic Wallafield. All right, devise medical formulae. Byron rounded a corner in the busy village and almost ran over a young halfling wearing a moth-eaten and uncharacteristically grubby coat. The hustling little hobby hastily extracted a beautiful loot from behind his back. He drew near shopkeeper Byron and whispered, Like new, half price, what you say? Ah, uh, poor little fellow must... Fellow was down on his luck in selling what must have been a treasured musical possession at a discount. The loot was in perfect condition and would be a steal. Technically, it was illegal, but who was looking? Or no way. Obviously, the pathetic pint-sized pilferer had some horrible vice he needed to feed. The loot was probably stolen, and purchasing stolen property was a crime. No, no way. <laughs> Chopper Keeper Bright, Byron, obligingly looked over the loot and then gently handed it back to the homely half-pint. Why not play this beautiful little loot in the square and earn some money, eh? He counseled. The grubby little hobby stared back grimly, then grunted its disapproval. It stuck out its vile little tongue, and after aiming a spiteful glare Byron's way, scampered off into the dusty village streets. It took a few cones of coins of persuasion, but the refugees spoke. All agreed on the vile symptoms of yellowish skin and mouth sores, and the speed at in which it killed. As for the cause, some claimed it was a curse from the Watcher, others said it began with a bite from a rabid rodent. One old woman swore it came from drinking too much ale. Alright. So now she needs to craft one prototype antivirus. She needs to go home to do that, though. Alright, can she? Yes, yes she can. Uh -huh. Open. Oh, so we successfully made prototype antivirus. So now she needs to administer prototype antivirus. Administer it then. Interesting. She has a bonus from being or from socializing with non Jacobians. Saying that she's feeling superior. No, I failed. The prototype serum only amplified the malady. Yet I must press on. Satan whose very existence hangs in the balance. I'll ask shopkeeper Byron for further help. Oh my! There's a Grim Reaper. Yenek, Frankantel. <laughs> All right. Let's go ask Byron for more help. John Sivet. Shepina Banin. Nerathin Garut. Omid Bazel. Go ask Byron for help. I beg of you, shopkeeper Byron, find for me the infected peasant so I can triage the growing tide of patients at my clinic. Fret not, I shall find the peasant and learn the truth. Our entire civilization may be at stake. Cool. Now he needs to question the peasant. Question. Alright, you should go home and you should probably sleep. I told you to do something, Byron. Go question the peasant. Have I done anything unusual recently? Can't say that I have, other than I feel like a walking dead. That's pretty usual. Cough. Before that, well, I finished off a spot of work in the village and used the extra money to treat myself to some freshly baked sweets from Baker Cora's shop. The baker, somehow she's at the root of the epidemic. I shall question her before bothering Surgeon Izumi with my theory. Okay. Oh, and the baker happens to be right here. And I'm already talking to them. That's convenient.
milching. Don't know about this plague business. I'm a busy woman and behind on my baking. I've not strayed from my normal routine. Tended the shop, made some deliveries, and purchased a bushel of greens. I used that for the weekly bread orders and gave the leftover bits to my husband for brewing. Alright, so what can I do? Bribe Baker Cora to visit the clinic? Or convince Baker Cora to see Surgeon Izumi? No, convince. Get an order. Upon opening the missive, Shopkeeper Byron allowed himself a small glimmer of hope. Dear Shopkeeper Byron, I hope this finds you well. Give the current, given the current circumstances, we have recently been battling a virulent new plague caused by a shipment of corrupted grain. We are wary of any trades while our stocks are contaminated, but if you can deliver a bundle of wheat, we can provide a sample of the suspect, of the suspect grain. Nice, so he needs to acquire ten bundles of wheat. Alright, Let's improve our relationship with this baker so we can convince them to visit the clinic. Yeah. Alright, such so I mean, Izumi... Oh no, I sent you home so you could, like, get some sleep. Get some sleep. It's like one something in the morning. Kensipe. Hmm. Orbitrage. Pramsor. Nestle French. Z. Jalik. Frelik. Boomsil. There we go. Now it's high enough to convince her to go to the clinic. Have some eel soup. I still say I feel just fine, but you make a strong case. If this plague is real, never let it be said that Baker Cora doesn't do her part for sake at home. I'm off to the clinic, but my sweet buns in the oven back home burn. You'll be hearing from me, shopkeeper Byron. Oh, I missed an if in there. Got it. And then sleep when you're done with your food. Because when you're done with your sleep, have something to eat. Draw blood sample from ailing peasant. Cool. Let's see. Oh, it's this dream again. Um, just embrace joy. He walked amongst the bliss blissful crowd, smiling and laughing among them towards the golden paradise. The scene at the end of the golden path began to fade. The throng surged toward as the scene dimmed. But the faster they charged, the quicker the world darkened around them. Okay. Alright, when you're done with your other stuff, go haggle at the village shop. Zumi is still asleep. Aww. And she's gonna have some rabbit soup. He is going to buy some wheat. While ambling down the crowded streets, Shopkeeper Byron was a great saw a great throng of people ahead. Approaching to investigate, he saw a strange man hawking potions, calling out to the streets. Turtles, amazing potions, limited supply, feel the power of the watcher in every step. Shopkeeper Byron was pondering if getting a magical potion from a mysterious man named Turtle was a good idea. Sure, why not? He'll take it. 
The little man grinned delightedly at Byron's interest. Certainly, certainly, certainly. Here's your very own turtle potion. Guaranteed to give you an incredible surge of power. Alright. Cool beans. Um, now he needs to sail to exchange grain in craft hole. What are his things for the day? Ask guildsmen to sell the consortium's surplus weapons, and ask two customers to buy. Well, he's going to go sail to exchange green. And Izumi needs to, what is it, collect herbs, craft and deliver two citrus infusions. But right now she's going to get that blood sample. And then after that, she can craft an item. A citrus infusion. Craft another citrus infusion. And go deliver the citrus infusions. He's still out doing on his trade mission. Alright, she delivers those. She's going to collect stuff since that's her other task for the day. Merchants have to do way too much socializing. Wait. I thought he made the trade. It said he made the trade. What's going on here? Do I need it to be in my... Do I really need it for it to be in the cargo hold? Alright, well he's taking care of his duties for the day first. They always say no, of course. Ah. 
Okay, go eat something. Have some mushroom soup. Oh my god, the person is so frustrating. So much just ridiculous socialization. No, he's not. In oh my god, why is my... Why did it close? I need it open so I can help ask customers to buy. Pendra, mm -hmm. uh, uh, relapsus, placeric. Ah. Oh, no, don't, because he left, so don't. Cat is trauma. Dow gem lends off Tefin. Oh, Mimsa, the sinu jalent. Alright, ask him to buy good. Shame. Robin's hand. Briscoll. Angel. Right. I sold my salt. Cool. Lundrin. Senip. Cressic. Wallafin. Braven Zensi Bluth. Weishem Waklem Woben Nisagra Tipa Koglima Nites Bosemshla Tefem Bolam Frankel God, I, why did they just not get along? Yenek, Frakantum. Alright, now ask him to buy goods. Finally! Oh, and you still need to hand over those weapons. 
Refine, Nuvin. Here, come on, go get to know this guy. I guess just get discussed with Steve the King now. Chat. Make a small bag. Yannick. It's kind of ridiculous that I have to like butter him up to just hand stuff over to him. Now I can do it, finally. Alright. His duties are done. He needs to sail to Crackle. All right, go open the cargo hold. Yep, that's what happened. I never took my gems out of there. All right. And now, oh, what? What? <gasps> Make up your mind, game. I did that with the wheat in my inventory. All right, sale to exchange grain. All right, Izumi, what are you doing? You're being lonely and you had a bland meal. And apparently we're going to end up doing four episodes on this quest. Because unfortunately, that is about time to call it for today. This has been the Kingdom of Sigimho, Sims Medieval. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully we will settle this plague next week. If you've enjoyed this, feel free to give it a like. Um, if you feel like subscribing, that would be great. I, of course, am some guy you've never heard of. Unless, of course, you have.